Today I am going to talk about my experience and mistake I made and tell you exactly why you should save your money and time and never, and I mean never, use 4x4 pressure treated posts from retail stores for you farm fencing. The weather is getting colder, which is why much warmer outfit. You see, four years ago, when I was about to put my very first farm fence, 4x4 pressure treated post is exactly the post I have decided to go with. Because my farm supply store didn't have a cedar fence post. And the next available store is about an hour and a half away. Plus, I saw other people using those 4x4 pressure treated posts from the retail stores for the farm fencing. So I figured out what can go wrong. Let me tell you a secret, everything. Especially considering that on the paper, specs look real good. I mean, they're pressure treated and rated for ground contact, meaning you can bury them and they will not rot, which is actually true. Because none of the posts I buried four years ago show any sign of decay. In fact, I even used them as a legs for my homemade grain feeder, which is always covered in mud, poop and all other cattle byproducts. And none of them shows a signs of decay either. But here's when the benefits end. First of all, they crack. And yes, I know, cedar posts crack too. But cedar posts crack on the surface. Those ones crack all the way to the middle of the post, basically affecting its structural integrity. And that goes for every single pressure treated post that I installed on the fence, which is no little and no less, 24 of them. Guys, you like the fence you have? No? Me neither. Second, they warp. And I'm not talking a little bit of warpage. I'm talking about 45 degree warpage, which is a lot. My theory is that the second problem is related to problem number one. I think when the post crack, water gets in, making the post wet from inside and out, weakening it even more and causing the warpage. Problem number three. And the problem number three is that frost heave pushes those posts out. I don't know if it's somehow related to the square shape or whatnot, but it doesn't happen with any of my cedar round posts. Even if the cedar posts are the same four by four, but round. In four years since I installed those posts, especially the corner posts, many of them have been pushed out of the ground good seven to eight inches, which is horrible. And finally, reason number four, they're simply not made for a farm fencing. They're made for construction. It's too bad that it took me so long time to actually understand it. I obviously have no choice but to replace all 24 of them coming next year. But if you're about to put a farm fence, make yourself a favor and go for a normal cedar post. Save you money and time so you don't have to do the same job again. Thank you for watching and if you like the video, please click subscribe and like and leave me a comment down below to let me know what you think. Also, don't forget to click that bell button so you'll be notified when the next video coming out. And I will talk to you very soon.